This is a story of how I became a millionaire just by making YouTube videos. Well, it's actually not what you think because I didn't earn this money by making videos. It was given to me for free. You probably know by now that we bust scammers on the streets of Prague. He, he robbed me. And we've been doing this for more than six years. Throughout these years, we sort of started a relationship. Now, don't get me wrong, we still hate each other with the scammers, but they realized that one way to get rid of us is to give us their cash that they use to scam tourists at ATMs and exchange offices. And this happens more than you think. Now, just to clarify, the money they're giving me is worthless. Worth exactly zero, nada. That's the reason they use them to scam people. And it is also the reason they don't have a problem giving it to me. Every time I got back from my walk, I'd simply throw the money into a box. And as time went by, the pile was getting bigger and bigger. Then one day, I decided to label the money. Who gave them to me, what time, location, and eventually, even this box with envelopes filled up. So I decided to start an Excel spreadsheet, and I not only wrote all the information about the scammers, location, time, but also the serial number of the bills. And that was a very, very good idea. Now these bills are worth nothing now, but back in the days when they were using this as a currency in Belarus, they were worth very, very little. So if you wanted to buy like a coffee, you'd have to pay like 5,000 of these. That means that the bills were usually together, and not only the bills, but also their serial numbers. Now, when I punched all the bills into the computer, it gave me a tool I didn't even realize. Just a couple days after I did this, I met a French woman that was actually cheated by a scammer. Okay, so if you can tell me what happened. We went into the street to uh, make change in, uh, with uh, Euro. We are going- And uh, how much did you change? Uh, I changed uh, 370. Euros. Euros. Mm -hmm. we came and he home. told you this is check money? Yes. yes. She showed me the money and I was able to find out, thanks to the serial number, who scammed her. Because her bills were only two digits off from the ones I had previously gotten from the scammer. I know the guy, I know his name, I know where he operates. So when I catch him, boom. But the money tells more than just this story. It also showed me that the gangs that operate in Prague, the Bulgarian branch and the Romanian one, have the same supplier. Because once again, the serial numbers are in a row throughout the gangs. Now, this is actually a very, very bad news for the scammers, because if a crime is organized and they cooperate, the punishment by the law will be much, much higher. Unfortunately, all of this is not an evidence for the police, since they claim it can be a coincidence. Well, I don't think so. Fashion police should chase you. Our previous episode regarding these money scammers ended with a question, who is the supplier of these expired money? Now, we know the answer to that. It's a guy that is neither with the Romanian gang nor the Bulgarian gang. It's a guy who always works alone. He sometimes also is on the streets, but mainly he sells this money. And he is, believe it or not, Polish. According to all the leads we have, it leads to him, even though he denies. By the way, I caught him only once while he was changing money on the street with a German TV crew. Okay, das ist ja gut, ja? Ja, ja. Alles klar. Okay, ja, vielen Dank. Das ist aber nett von Ihnen. His persona is quite interesting, and I believe we should cover him on one of the future episodes. I am not a millionaire. This was a scam guide. Please consider subscribing so you can watch our future episodes. See you then. Wait, we are done. Don't you dare come back. Be careful. We are here for you. Chechen, you are All right. Be careful. Be careful. You I'm gonna teach you a check word at the end, as usual. And this time it's how to say serial number, which is seriove číslo. Serial number, seriove číslo. If it's a serial killer, it's seriový vrah, which are not the guys we're filming, don't worry. <laughs>